The Chilco sockeye population is, is one of the largest in, in all of British Columbia. Uh, between 10 and 40 million of these juvenile fish head downstream each year. And a couple years later, only about one and a half million return as adults. Uh, so we were really curious as to what was going on in between, where these fish were lost. And kind of the downstream out-migration of these fish was, was largely a black box for us. Chilco sockeye, when they decide to leave the lake and, and head downstream, they travel through the Chilco, Chilcotin, and Fraser Rivers before they even make it to the Strait of Georgia. Uh, and our study was able to track this migration for about a thousand kilometers. To kind of track the migration of these little fish, we use what's called acoustic telemetry. Uh, and this is simply using an electronic tag that we uh, surgically implant into the fish. And each tag has a unique code uh, that can then um, at a set interval, send out this code, and then we place hydrophones or listening stations throughout the environment, and they can actually hear these fish as they go by. Uh, so for each of these fish that we uh, do the surgery on, we know when it, if it passed by a receiver or a listening station and when. We were really surprised that uh, survival was poor early on, uh, particularly in the Chilco River, uh, where the water is slow moving and, it, and it's clear. And so we expect that uh, predators have an easier time to target these fish, including uh, bull trout, as well as other fish species, as well as birds. So we realized that for these small fish in this pretty dangerous uh, part of the migration, that there was safety in numbers. Uh, so if uh, a juvenile fish went out with a lot of other juvenile fish, they had a really good chance of making it downstream. Uh, but if they went out, uh, went out alone, uh, their chances of survival were pretty poor.